I'm going to start them. We'll take about, on average, if you're using big tomatoes, maybe three or four tomatoes. If you're using little ones, maybe about seven. Uh, if you're using cherry tomatoes, you're going to need a bunch. So you just need enough to make this half full with tomato juice. So what I'm going to do is take my little magic little bullet here, my generic magic bullet. That's a generic one, 20 bucks, big lots. And I'm going to put those in there. I'm going to blend them up and make a juice. Oh. I'll show you in a minute. You're going to take uh, one toe of garlic, which is right here. One toe of garlic. You're going to put it in there. See, that's my cup of blended tomatoes. I need to put the garlic in there. Okay, now that the stuff is blended, I'm going to take it over here and put it in my thing. See, I was close. I'm about half full up there. Now what I'm going to need to do is go to my cabinet to here. And I'm going to get the cumin. We need a quarter tablespoon. We need a turmeric quarter tablespoon. Cayenne, not a quarter tablespoon, but about an eighth of a tablespoon would be good for the cayenne. Those are our three spices. Now I reach to the refrigerator and I'm going to get me some molasses, organic, and I have some leftover coffee. Why not? Let's give it a smoky flavor. We'll put uh, about an eight ounce cup of coffee in there. So let's see, we got it right there. All right. And that gives it your smoky flavor. It's awesome. Kind of gives you, uh, it's like it's got a meat text or taste to it. Anyway, so we're doing all that. And I need something to hold my little thing. That'll work. Yay! What do you know? It works. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to sprinkle. I don't need a measuring thing because I know how much is what. But anyway, quarter tablespoon of cayenne, I mean of turmeric and um, cumin. And cumin will make it taste like chili, kind of. Um, it's good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. Good for you. It's, uh, it's great. Molasses, you're going to want at least, at least two tablespoons of molasses, at least. Uh, you get it as sweet as you want it, but it takes the tart out of the tomato. So there you go. I'm going to take two tablespoons. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Sprinkle just a tad of cayenne. Let's go ahead and turn the stove on medium, bring it to a boil. Now that's about an eighth of a tablespoon of cayenne. Now for the quinoa grain. See, it don't come in a bottle, I just keep it in glass, put it in the freezer so I can keep it for as long as I want. And I don't, it won't go bad if it keeps frozen. So now you're just going to cover the top however much you want. Might help if I turn the right burner on. So I just, what I do is I cover the entire top of the stuff at about a half an inch. Well, not a half an inch, about a quarter of an inch or even, you know, just whatever. There's enough, however much you want. But there needs to be, it just needs to be enough. Not too little or you'll end up with soup too much and you won't have enough um, sauce to go around. So what I'm going to do... Wash up my spoon. I've got uh, just a tad bit of water in here. Uh, rinse out my cup here before I clean it. And yeah. yeah, shake it all up. For the rest of what's left in there in here. Oh, cannot forget, you need to add sunflower oil so you don't bubble over. I usually use a tablespoon of sunflower oil, maybe more. The sunflower oil is great for your skin. It's great for you. It's one of the essential oils. It's good stuff. So then I get my spoon. I'm going to mix it all in, right? Mix it all around. Here we go. Stir it on up. 
Stir it on up. Stir it on up. We're going to bring this sucker to a boil. Let it boil for 10 minutes. On low. Once it comes to a boil, turn it to low. Keep the lid on. And um, wait. Oh, one more thing. I got Himalayan Pink Mountain Salt. This is a quarter tablespoon or an eighth of a tablespoon measured out. I'm going to put one eighth of a tablespoon of mountain salt in there. And it gives you your minerals. Alright, now last but not least, I got honey. This isn't raw honey because you don't want to cook raw honey. It defeats the purpose. So it's just regular sweetened honey. Now I'm just going to put a squeeze of that in there just to add a little sweetness. Alright, when it's done, I will show you the finished product. You can add meat if you want, but I don't suggest it really because you don't need it. Looks like Alright, going in. Stir it up real good. Get all that stuff going in there. Alright, now those ingredients and those measurements should do you fine, but you know, always um, taste according, you know, um, cook the taste. That's what I do. I, you know, I never use recipes, but like I said, I can eyeball and I know what I just used. So, alright, I'll show you what it's done, what it looks like when it's completely done. Just for done. Uh, kicks and giggles, I'm going to add a uh, sweet banana pepper to the mix. It just adds a little uh, more vitamin C and a little extra flavor. So, put that into your recipe when you're writing hey, it down. There she is. Quinoa tomato surprise. Good stuff. See the quinoa blows up and it takes, you know, absorbs all that stuff. And bazunga. There you go. That stuff is good and it came out perfect. Mmm. Yeah. So not only did you get my quinoa recipe, but you also got my recipe for uh, homemade um, tomato sauce because that's basically what that is. You get it's better than anything that you'll get in a jar. Better. All right, man. Peace out.